Hook lock bolts work in a, a similar way to a regular nut and bolt, but there are some crucial differences. The, the male part is called a pin, which is similar to the bolt, and that is put through the materials being joined. The collar, which is similar to the nut, is put over the exposed end of the pin, and then a special piece of installation tooling is used to swage the collar onto the pin, forming a vibration-proof lock bolt. There are some uh, very important differences between hook lock bolts and uh, a conventional nut and bolt. The first one is that the collar, uh, which is very similar to a nut, is swaged onto the pin. This forms a, a vibration-proof fastener, unlike nuts and bolts, which may need other special features like wash washers or locking wires to stop the nut vibrating off. With a hook lock bolt, because of the swaging process, the collar will not come off the, the pin. Uh, it's also the, the thread form on the uh, lock bolt pin is much shallower than a regular nut and bolt. This enables the collar material to swage into the lock grooves and also means that there's a greater cross-sectional area through the bolt, or in this case the pin, uh, which means that the, it has higher strength, actually five times more strength, uh, fatigue strength, and it's also higher in shear, uh, shear strength as well because of the greater cross-sectional area. Hook lock bolts are a vibration proof fastener. They're specially designed to allow the collar material to flow into the lock grooves on the pin. Uh, the collar is specifically designed uh, from its uh, physical design but also its material selection and heat treatment to allow this to happen. Uh, when the collar has been swaged into the lock grooves it, it is a complete vibration proof fastener because you get 100% contact between the, the collar and the pin. Other, other advantages you get with hook lock bolts are the precise clamp. With hook lock bolts you typically get a plus or minus 6% variation in clamp uh, compared to 30% which you get from a, a conventional nut and bolt. This means that engineers can design hook lock bolts with a, they have a larger minimum, a higher minimum than a conventional nut and bolt, which means that you may be able to reduce the number of fasteners, maybe reduce the diameter, and you also get a more uniform load share between a, a group of fasteners in any given structure. The collar is also designed to generate something called a uh, snub load. Uh, the snub load is the load that the, the, is put through the fastener before it starts to swage. The snub load allows gap to be pulled out of structures which aren't readily aligned. So if you've got gap when you're building specifically large structures, it's very useful to be able to pull those, those pieces of material together. And the snub load uh, leading to the gap pullout will give you that. With, with hook lock bolts, it's very simple to check if the installation is done correctly. With the, the pintail style of fasteners, uh, the pintail will snap off. Uh, that load is uh, over the swage load, so the swage has been completed first and then the last bit of the installation is the pintail to snap off. So once it snaps, you know you've got a good installation. With, with pintailless lock bolts, the, uh, the pintail obviously doesn't break off, so there are other ways of looking at it. The, the collars are specially designed to have swage indicators on them, so when the, the installation tooling is completed its swage, it deforms the swage indicators so you can see that the, the anvil, which is part of the installation tooling, has travelled to the furthest extent it should. Also, uh, periodic inspection with swage gauges and inspection of the installation tooling should further guarantee that you've got a correct installation. Yeah, hook lock bolts are very easy to install. Uh, the, there's any number of tools that you can use. Uh, there are battery tools, air tools and hydraulic tools depending on the, the diameter and the volume of uh, fasteners you need to install. Uh, they don't need any sort of specialist training or certification, for example, that you do with welding uh, and people can learn to use them very, very quickly and we've got numerous examples with only a few hours training, people are up and running and installing our fasteners.